everyone, I'm GW Fan the Softcore Brony, and I want to welcome you to Let's Pl Wait. Wait, 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 this isn't right. Let's try this again. Reboot! There we go, that's more like it. I asked you guys if you wanted it, and I don't think a single person said no. So, I'm GW Fan the Softcore Brony, and I want to welcome you to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2 The Retranslation. Now, for those of you not in the know, this is a special uh, translation uh, ROM hack created by a guy by the name of Ryusuke, who uh, improved upon a version created by someone by the name of D4. Now, uh, the reason for this ROM hack uh, is because. Hang on a sec there. I don't want to start those uh, little extra scenes. But, uh, yeah, the reason for it is because uh, the original translation given to us by uh, Capcom, the English translation that is, was very dry and just didn't do the game justice at all. So, uh, for uh, this LP... Oh, I didn't erase my old one. Oh, well, anyway. If we don't put in our... Uh, name or anything, it'll just default to the uh, normal name. So anyway, for this LP, uh, I'm basically going to uh, more or less compare the new to the old to an extent at least, and also point out the various uh, uh, bugs that used to exist in it because they've been fixed. And uh, outside of those two things, uh, nothing else in this game has been touched or changed, so those of you who still uh, play the original can still play right along, uh, and uh, I don't know why you would want to turn off the music, but uh, other the uh, new, only new option here is this transparent versus opaque. Personally, I like opaque, though I'll show you what transparent looks like uh, momentarily. So anyway, game start, and uh, let's get this on the road, shall we? Spooky. Not much happening yet, but... Oh. Well. Power for what? Eh? You know, it surprises me that, you know, they didn't censor this game like they did practically every other game in the 90s, but then, if they had, this game probably wouldn't exist at all, so... Really? Well, that was rather... cryptic. Huh. And we still got Ganner and Yua here, just like the original. A couple names here and there have been uh, changed to fit their original Japanese translation, or uh, yeah, translation uh, a little closer or more properly. So uh, a few names will change here and there. Also, uh, a lot of the weapons and armor and items in the game and spells to are have been changed to reflect the uh, later Breath of Fire games, uh, Breath of Fire's three and four. So uh, I'll be going over that a little bit as well. Or at least pointing out, I'll be telling you what the original names were for those of you who aren't playing this version. All right, we got our main hero here who's just a six-year-old kid. We'll start off by raiding our uh, dresser here to get uh, not a tree pole, but a wooden rod. All right, all right, I heard you. Now, uh, just like the, origi uh, the original, well, of course this hasn't changed, but we can only carry uh, 48 items in our inventory. You may... <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of getting over a cold. But uh, uh, you'll notice uh, that the, uh, for the, you veterans will notice that the item menu is a little different here. It's uh, single rather than uh, in two columns. I don't know necessarily how I feel about that yet. I haven't played the game enough to form an opinion because I haven't played very far past the beginning. So, uh, I'll be just as surprised as you are when some all this new, uh, 
you know, dialogue comes up. And I'll explain the rest of this, uh, later. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Anyway. Ah. Why me? Why do I have to do everything? Ow! Fist to the head. No longer a fool, but disgraceful. Okay, sure, sure. We have to. But thy must protect thy sister, or thou, or whatever. Aww. Yeah, well. Anyway, nothing over here in this room. It's just a bathroom. Because, unlike other RPGs, we actually have bathrooms in this game. I know I said that the last time, but... You know, some things I gotta say again. Oh, I already talk to you. Duh. Yo! Hey, talk to me. Thanks for reminding me. Don't worry about that little shiny thing up there in the corner. That's... Uh, Ryu's supposed to be wearing a, a pendant around his neck. That... That, uh... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. That's, uh, changes, uh, color based on, uh... You know, how people like him or don't like him. And it's really entirely for story purposes. It's not going to really affect anything so far as anyone knows. So... <laughs> a nature hike, huh? Okay. Well, I'm not really feeling like a nature hike, so... Yeah, I like that a lot better. An army of monsters, rather than just saying a monster, which was absolutely not true. Oh, really? A dragon, huh? Uh, okay. This, uh, doesn't seem to do anything. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before, you if you want to progress with the plot, you must talk to this woman right here. Because she tells you where your sister is behind the village, huh? Alright. I'll look there. Yeah, I know, that other guy was telling me about, uh, that with nature hikes or something. Now, there should be someone in the bathroom here. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, a lot less censored, I guess. Oh, that's right, I was gonna show you the, uh, differences between the, uh, opaque and the other one. She sounds, you know, a lot more jolly in the other one, don't you think? So, uh, let's see. Transparent is just, when you talk to people, it looks a little transparent like this. <coughs> you rascal. But anyway, uh, the only reason that I like opaque a little better is because there's actually points in the game where, uh, just like, I think, three, where uh, a character actually appears on screen and the, uh, the dialogue box down there is what kind of blocks them from being seen, so... <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, do it that way. Anyway, in this dresser here, we get uh, not an herb, but an e a healing... <coughs> sorry, healing herb. Maybe I should have waited until I was totally over uh, my cold here. But anyway, it's just a basic healing item. It restores exactly 40 HP. It'll uh, remain useful for quite a while, uh, because HP isn't too high in this game, but they will be totally obsolete eventually. Masquerading as orphans and robbing churches. Wow, that's terrible. Ooh. Okay, I'll remember that. Um, out of the way! I don't know about that, but, uh, anyway. Ah. All right, living legend, yeah, son of a legend. How about that? Praise me or something. Now, when you anyway, uh, as you recall, I said we can only hold 48 items in our inventory, and uh, those two items there hold different slots. But if you sort the items, they'll both take up one slot. You can have up to nine items taking up one slot, though that only ca uh, accounts for uh, most, well, all purchasable. 
consumable items, not like uh, accessories like this or weapons and armor, and also a few uh, rare uh, consumable items as well will only be able to take up one slot. So uh, always got to keep that in mind. Anyway, since we talked to that one woman back there, we can clear this bush out of the way and go here to... it's not called Bushland anymore, but the grassy field. Now, there is a place to go to the left and right, but uh, there's nothing there. We can't even interact with anything there, so we'll just come here where color is invented! All Wizard of Oz style. And uh, there she is. Uh-oh. And we get to our first battle of the game. I'll go over what all this stuff is later. But, uh, well, we might as well... Yeah, let's attack! Boom! A whole two points! All right, ow! Oh, by the way, the kid here is actually capable of counterattacking. It's just not very likely. Oh, yeah, and special's been changed to death blow. <laughs> and this guy, the gunhead, is, uh, used to be called a beak, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, don't waste your items in that fight. There's basically no way you could you could uh, win it. I mean, that guy's got 50 HP, so you'd have to get really fortunate in dodging his attacks. Um, I mean, it sort of attacked me and didn't notice her, but uh, sure, of course I did. Monster? That's the only monster that appears in this area ever! What do you mean? Aww. Looks like I'm gonna be saying that again. entirely certain how old you is supposed to be. I think she's supposed to be like three or four. Yeah, if you're playing the uh, Game Boy Advance version, you'll actually get a picture of uh, their <coughs> of their mother, which I think in itself is kind of a spoiler. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't play the Game Boy Advance version anyway. It kind of sucks. It doesn't really matter what you say here, it makes no difference, uh, it barely even changes the dialogue, but uh, that's not true, because we're a nice kid. And then other than that line there, uh, you will go on to say this, no matter which one you say. Yeah, uh, most uh, choices in the game don't make a huge difference or much of any difference on the plot, but there are a few very significant ones that I'll of course point out. A lot of times it's just to make a character like happy or not happy with you, which again doesn't really seem to serve any practical purpose in the game, so... Oh, really? Hmm. I'm sure that's not important at all. Aww. Well, when is my bedtime? I mean, the fact that you're letting me run around out here as a six-year-old kid where no one can see me... Oh, alright. Well, here's a choice that kind of makes a difference. We can say I'm wired and go back to talk to everybody in town, but it doesn't make any difference, so I'm beat. Let's sleep. Whoa! Dang. What the heck is that thing? Well, anyway. Might as well get back to town. Hope I didn't oversleep or something. Boy, who killed the music? Hello? I'm back! Do, 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 do. Oh. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean? 
I, I live here. What, what are you... You're just joking with me, aren't you? Hey, sir, what... Yeah! What's that? What? Um... Is this just, like, a big joke, right? Ragamuffin? God, when's the last time I heard someone say ragamuffin? Okay, at least he's not accusing me of being a thief this time. Ay ya! Strike the fear of God. <laughs> oh wow, that's kind of scary. I hate cards. Uh, you mean that one over there that has all the hay strewn about it? Aw, oh, he's not called Father Hulk anymore. No more Incredible Hulk jokes. Oh well. Wow, everyone around here is kind of grumpy and mean. Surely the lady in the bathroom will be much kinder to us. Wow. Scary. A lot scarier than before. She doesn't seem so jolly anymore. Anyways... Um, in a matter of speaking, I guess so. What did I do? What? You you were like the person who liked me the most before. What what happened? I'm not an orphan. The Lord Eva, no longer Saint Eva. It doesn't have that kind of uh well, rather surprising Catholic feel to it anymore. Okay, uh if you say so. I mean, I I don't know what's going on here. Who's this guy? I've never seen him before. Church of Eva. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it's always been. Well, thank you for lumping me into all those other uh, categories. There uh, it makes me feel so much better about my situation. It is my house. It is my home. Man, what is going on? No more... What was it? Heave Ho? I think it was before? Who's this funny looking kid? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he swears a little bit more in er actually does swear now. There actually was like a curse word or two in the original game. It's just you know, it's uh, actually a little bit more prevalent in this from what I've seen of this version so far. Here's a little difference right here. Uh we kind of surprise this kid instead of him just automatically saying, "Hey, what's up? I'm getting out of here." What reason's that? Problem blind and run like hell. Uh, well, if if that works for you. Well, kind of random, but uh, okay. Now, what you say here, it can make him kind of like you or dislike you a little bit. It doesn't really matter, of course. But uh, if you say, "Are you nuts?" he'll say something rather about, I think cold porridge and daily whippings or something and then leave and then when you try to leave as well he'll come back and let you join him but so we'll just say of course since you know we want him to like us and no longer Bo but Bosch I think his full name is supposed to be like Bosch Doggy or something like that world is our oyster and you know all the world's treasures are our pearl or something now, even though he's joined our party, he's not in our active party. It's still just us alone. So, anyway. Hey, uh, we're leaving now. Where we robbed you blind of your candle. I mean, we could maybe steal these much nicer candles up here. Or maybe the Bibles or books or whatever those are. But, uh, nah. Now, night and day is something that 
sort of applies to this game. I mean, it's there, but uh, the only thing that usually happens at night is that things are locked, and or some places are locked. Some people say different things, and that's really about it. Anyway, I don't think he'll let us back into town. You know, kind of funny how you say homesick, being as you think I'm also an orphan. Rainstorm. Oh, sudden downpour. Ah! Run! Lightning! Yeah, you'd think we'd be more afraid of the dark at our age. How convenient! You'd almost think it was a plot device. Uh, well, maybe a pace for some folks, but uh, he won't let us leave, so... <laughs> it doesn't last that long. Well, anyway... What the... Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't. What is that, like your spidey sense or something? Well, um... You have no choice but to follow it. There's, well, sort of another direction up here, but Bo won't let it, or Bosch won't let us go that way. I'm probably gonna... <laughs> okay. But, uh, I'm probably gonna end up calling him uh, Bo every now and then, so... Bear with me, I'm not used to this Bosch name. Even though I have played Final Fantasy XII. Oh, this is kind of creepy. What is that thing? Huh. Oh. By the way, that eyeball that we've seen, since I don't think it's a spoiler, it's uh, it was this guy, that third eye in his head up there. That's what we were seeing back there. I mean, it never comes up again, so I don't think it's a spoiler. The... What? One what? The faded child? What are you talking about, man? Uh, alright, we can take this guy on. Go, kid! Ow. Actually, one time I actually did dodge that attack and got a hit in. But, uh, there's no way you can possibly win it without, like, you know, hacking and cheating or something. Hey, how do you know my name? What is this faded child you're talking about? Hmm. And then we get this epic part again, which hasn't changed at all, because, you know, it's still so darn epic. Plus, this was probably like, uh, uh, something other than text that you could just automatically change, so... Fortunately, it was so darn epic. Ripped his heart and body apart. He dreamt it. It couldn't be a dream, I mean... Huh. Well, what's that place? A world of silence, a world of darkness. I like those lines. And the darkness welcomes him. Huh. But are we ever going to find out what we are the one of? I mean, what was that? Highlander or something like that? Certainly not that. I've actually never seen those movies, so... <laughs> well, anyway... In case you forgot what the name uh, what the name of the game we're playing is, uh, they decided to remind us. 
but uh, man, that uh, demon was way too hard to beat for this point in the game. I mean, there's got to be some way to beat it, right? Right? So, well, let's find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Arrivederci.